So this video is going to be an explanation as to what I plan on doing next. And I will get to that, but the first thing that I want to do is I want to thank three people in particular. And the three people that I would like to thank is Big Brother John, John Rhodes, Jeremy Cooper, and Karen Valverde. Because of you three, I was able to experience some peace in this terrible chapter in my life. Because of you three, I was able to put food in my stomach and feed my dog and put gas in my tank and get a new tire. On the nights where I am crying out to God, why? What have I done to deserve this? How long? God ordained it so that you three would come and help me in this season. And I'm so very grateful and so very thankful and I love you all so very, very much. And I hope that one day I can return the favor. I hope I can repay in some way. If there's ever a need that you have in your life, I hope that there is something that I can do to provide the way that you have provided for me and my dog. At this point in my life, I do desperately need help because Society, civilization, unfortunately we're not very civilized, and it's just a miracle that I've came across you three people. There are just some... I'm being spiritually attacked heavily in this season of my life. The enemy does not want me to have any sort of an edge and he has rendered me basically useless I don't have a chance where I am but I do have a chance somewhere a few years ago I watched a documentary about a place it's across the country but it's a place of societal rejects like me and they live together and work together in the desert and if I have any chance to do a hard reset on my life it's not going to be here amongst the hustle and bustle of the city or even in the suburbs it's going to be in a place with like-minded people who have experienced the same type of pains that I've experienced, who have lost it all. It's going to be in a place called Slab City. That's the only and final option that I have. Is it ideal? No. But this is less than ideal. This situation being alone every day, no friends, no family, struggling, can't continue doing this. I have to try to make it to this place because, and I've been thinking about it for a few days and I'm still not sure yet, but I'm 95% certain that in the next few days I may start making my journey out to this place called Slab City. It's going to be an adventure and I will document this adventure. I don't have the money to get there, but we have to start because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. When I get there, I can stake my own claim on a piece of land and start building my own house, all for free. Now it's all out of repurposed materials, but that's what I do best, I repurpose things. I feel like the Lord is leading me out into that direction, and I'll have to pray about it some more before I can be certain. But I think that's where I'm going to go. It would, it would give my dog an opportunity to run around and play with other dogs. It would give me an opportunity to meet people in person instead of being isolated every single day. I've started reaching out to people online who live there and hopefully they get back to me. 
but if things don't change here in the next couple days, I'm going to have to go. It's 2,000 miles away. And that's my last resort. But again, I want to thank you guys, John Rhodes, Jeremy Cooper, and Karen Valverde. I love you all so very, very much, and you will always and forever be in my prayers.